again. Today we are gonna solve problems about multiplication on decimals. Let's begin with first problem. The taximeter's charge tariff in a town is given on the table below. In this town, night shift starts at 12 am and ends at 7 am. William leaves home for work at 8 am and takes a cab to arrive work which is 15 kilometers away from his home. He leaves from work at 1 am and again takes a cab to go back to home. How much money will William pay for those two trips? Please stop the video here and try to solve the problem on your own. According to problem, we can say that total charge for a trip can be found by adding opening charge and the product charge for each kilometer times total distance. At 8 am, William will pay according to morning shift because we know that Night shift ends at 7 am. We know that the distance between William's house and workplace is 15 km. So we can now calculate the total price. Total charge that William pays for morning trip is then 4 and 25 hundreds plus 2 and 25 tenths multiplied by 15. At 1 am, William will pay according to night shift. Total charge that William pays for night trip is then 5 and 75 hundreds plus 3 and 25 hundreds multiplied by 15. Now let's calculate decimal operations. To calculate 2 and 25 hundreds multiplied by 15, we should first multiply 225 by 15, and we know that it's equal to 3375. Now we should put the decimal point two points left from rightmost side, because we know that the denominator of the result is 100. So the result is 33 and 75 hundreds. To calculate 3 and 25 hundreds multiplied by 15, we should first multiply 325 by 15, and we know that it's equal to 4875. Now we should put the decimal point two points left from rightmost side, and the result will be 48 and 75 hundreds for this operation. Since we calculated the result of multiplication operations, we can now calculate the total amount that William pays. He will pay 4 and 25 hundreds plus 2 and 25 hundreds multiplied by 15 for morning trip. We know that 2 and 25 hundreds multiplied by 15 is equal to 33 and 75 hundreds. So the result will be 4 and 25 hundreds plus 33 and 75 hundreds, which is equal to 38. He will pay 5 and 75 hundreds plus 3 and 25 hundreds multiplied by 15 for night trip. We know that 3 and 25 multiplied by 15 is equal to 48 and 75 hundreds. So the result will be 5 and 75 hundreds plus 48 and 75 hundreds. And we know that it's equal to 54 and 5 tenths. For both trips, William will pay 38 plus 54 and 5 tenths dollars, which is equal to 92 and 5 tenths dollars. Let's finish our session with another problem about multiplication on decimals. In a town, the water bills are calculated according to given information below. The unit price is 5 and 5 tenths dollars if the consumption is between 0 and 10 tons and the unit price is $6 if consumption is higher than 10 tons. The VAT is 0 and 18 hundreds times the consumption cost. The wastewater fee is 1 tenth times the consumption cost. The maintenance fee is 4 hundreds times the consumption cost. Edward has a duplex house and they have consumed 7 tons of water in ground floor and 12 tons of water in second floor in this month. How much money will Edward pay for this consumption? Do not forget to stop the video here and try to solve the problem on your own. According to problem, total bill can be calculated by adding unit price multiplied by amount of water consumed, VAT, the wastewater fee and the maintenance fee. Let's have a look at the cost for ground floor. Since the total consumption is between 0 and 10 tons, the unit price will be 5 and 5 tenths, 
So consumption cost will be 5 and 5 tenths multiplied by 7. The VAT is 1800 multiplied by consumption cost. The wastewater fee is 1 tenth multiplied by consumption cost. And the maintenance fee is 400 multiplied by consumption cost. Since the total consumption is above 10 tons in second floor, the unit price will be $6. So consumption cost will be 6 multiplied by 12. The VAT is 18 tenths multiplied by this consumption cost. The wastewater fee is 1 tenth multiplied by consumption cost. The maintenance fee is 400 multiplied by consumption cost. Let's calculate the cost for ground floor. To calculate cost for this floor, we should first calculate consumption cost, which is 5 and 5 tenths multiplied by 7. To calculate this product, we should first multiply 55 by 7, and we know that it's equal to 385. Now we should put the decimal point 1 point left from rightmost side, because the result has denominator 10. So the result is 38 and 5 tenths. So, the consumption cost of ground floor is 38 and 5 tenths dollars. VAT is 18 hungers multiplied by this consumption cost. We know that 18 hungers is 18 divided by 100 and 38 and 5 tenths is 385 divided by 10. If we multiply these fractions, we will have 6930 divided by 1000, which is equal to 693 divided by 100 which is 6 and 93 hungers in decimal form. The wastewater fee is 1 tenth multiplied by consumption cost. We know that 1 tenth is 1 divided by 10 and 38 and 5 tenths is 385 divided by 10. If we multiply these fractions, we will have 385 divided by 100, which is 3 and 85 hungers in decimal form. The maintenance fee is 4 hungers multiplied by consumption cost. We know that 4 hungers is 4 divided by 100 and 38 and 5 tenths is 385 divided by 10. If we multiply these fractions, we will have 1540 divided by 1000 and we know that it's equal to 154 divided by 100, which is 1 and 54 hungers in decimal form. If we add up all these costs, we will find the total cost for ground floor as 50 and 82 hungers dollars. Let's calculate the cost for second floor. We should first calculate the consumption cost, which is 6 times 12, which is equal to 72. The VAT is 18 hungers multiplied by consumption cost. We know that 18 hungers is 18 divided by 100. If we multiply these numbers, we will have 1296 divided by 100, which is 12 and 96 hungers in decimal form. The wastewater fee is 1 tenth multiplied by consumption cost. We know that 1 tenth is 1 divided by 10. If we multiply these numbers, we will have 72 divided by 10, which is 7 and 2 tenths in decimal form. The maintenance fee is 4 hungers multiplied by consumption cost. We know that 4 hungers is 4 divided by 100. If we multiply these numbers, we will have 288 divided by 100, which is 2 and 88 hungers in decimal form. If we add up all these costs, we will find the total cost for second floor as 95 and 4 hungers dollars. We found that total cost for ground floor is 50 and 82 hungers. So, total bill that Edward should pay is 50 and 82 hungers plus 95 and 4 hungers, which is 145 and 86 hungers dollars. Our problem session ends here. Thank you for your attention. See you on another online course.